YouTube and welcome back to my tutorials. This is Gabby with Endress Analytics and today I decided to uh, go into talking about average time on site uh, which is for those of you who are very familiar with Google Analytics is a, a calculation uh, a metric that you kind of get out of the box it's very easy to get to and if you have ever transitioned from Google Analytics to Adobe and have been looking for that metric um, you'll notice it's not in here um, the only thing that's closest uh, within all of the different reports uh, would be the time spent per visit uh, which basically, you know, I'll go ahead and run that now, um, is a breakdown of, you know, um, percentages in terms of like, you know, how many visits did we get? And we can actually get this here. Let's, uh, let's fix this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just do it just by visits and we'll uh, do a little pie chart and that way we can kind of get a little bit of a breakdown here of, um, of the different times and things. So you can see, you know, percentage wise, um, you know, less than one minute, one to five minutes, 10 to 30 minutes, etc. But it doesn't give you an overall average like, well, you know, within this time frame, what's the average um, time spent on site? And um, that is actually data that you can get to, just not through the regular reporting interface. So let me show you how to do this. Um, basically, you have to go into the dashboards to do this. So let me go ahead and I'm going to go into uh, admin uh, tools with the with the star here and then admin um, let's see we want to do dashboards here we go manage dashboards um, and I can either add this to an existing dashboard or create an ent entirely new one um, so let's go ahead and add a dashboard and I'm going to just call this I'm just gonna have like a single page with the with the time calculation and that's it because you know perhaps that's all I want to do or um, often for clients of mine that have multiple report suites multiple sites that kind of thing I'll do a, a single dashboard and I'll have the average time on site um, in the dashboard for each report suite um, that way I can just have like a quick way of looking that information up so let's just do that average time on site okay so I'm just gonna leave all of that um, blank right there I'm not gonna do any of those selections Let's go into here, so average time on site, and we'll go ahead and edit it. Oops, cancel. we'll just go this way. All right, and what we want to do is, so let's go ahead and we'll just do a, a, a three by two, and we'll add content, and it'll be a, a custom portlet data content metric gauge. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that out here. Um, okay, so here you go, metric right here, average time spent on site. So this is where you find it, is right in here in the metric gauge. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with the metric gauge besides that, but average time on site is one of the few things that um, you have to get through this um, through this little portlet, um, and that's the only way to get to it. And then you can kind of customize it. I tend to go um, green, yellow, red, um, because to me, um, or actually I think it's it, they they've, they've changed it so it's red, red yellow green they used to have it the other way around by default um, so if someone is um, on the site for less than a minute let's say um, it's in the red zone and let's say if they're on the site typically um, for me if someone is spending more than five minutes on my site um, I, I find that is to be a positive so if it's greater than five minutes then it's green if it's less than one minute it's red and then you know everything in between so let's go ahead and click update on that and there you go and there's your average time on site so on uh, within um, the month of May um, I have had uh, an average of 6.35 minutes on my site um, and you can I'm sure uh, maximize this but I don't know if it'll display um, very much better yes yeah, it's this is about as, as good as it's gonna display um, now I do have you know multiple websites but I'm only tracking uh, one uh, within uh, Adobe everything else I'm not tracking in Adobe it's all Google Analytics so I but if I had um, if I had site catalyst on multiple sites um, I would be able to like put a separate one for each of my sites here and that way I could just kind of have a quick um, overview of okay and I could probably say you know um, average time on site for Andrus analytics so that would be 
uh, for that website and then I would have it for my other websites as well. But there you have it, a very quick, <laughs> uh, very, uh, very, very quick uh, demonstration there of uh, for anyone who has wondered, like, how do I get that information? Um, it's it's through the dashboard um, custom report. Let's, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go out of layout mode and and there you go. So um, if anyone has any questions or um, any other kinds of uh, types of data that you've been trying to get to. Um, and and you and you don't know how to do that let me know in the comments below I'm more than happy to try and explain how to get to other types of data um, if that is possibly available um, all right so until next week um, you know I'm hoping that those of you who are enjoying these videos and are finding them uh, useful please uh, like the video uh, I really would appreciate it if people would um, share the video as well as if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I really appreciate um, all of that interaction. Um, and until next week, take care. Bye-bye.